Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Well, after waiting what seems like forever, they're finally here. This is how um, Amazon have packaged the Monarchs in the UK. So better than a big box and it was handed, well not handed to me because they're not allowed to really put it on the floor outside. So I have saved open it up and ooh, here we go. So there's the slipcase, very, very nice, front and back. So they're lovely packaged, the shape, same the problem is we're all going to take that out and throw this cardboard away, put them in our pencil case, it's quite the same. Um, I will be keeping the tin for something else though because I've got an, an idea what to do with that. So let's have a look at the tin. The tin is wrapped in a plastic sleeve. Oh, and I can't wait to get in and actually swatch and use these. We'll swatch them on this video. Oops. And then we'll... Okay, that in the bin. The bin's getting a bit full. So they're also taped here, which is great. So that stops it from opening. And, and they are also sealed inside the tin as well, which is great. So it's kept, kept them nice and safe. So I know you guys in the States have had them for a while. I've seen some nice things about them and some mm, up and down reviews. But uh, so far I'm liking them. Like the kit, the tin's very nice. Is it taped on the side as well? No. Um, it must be taped this side, yeah. No, it's just that. There we are, take the lid off. So again, they're sealed on the inside. Oh, and on the bottom of the tin, shows you all the different colours. Testing approved to be safe. Black Widows are non-toxic non and safe to use. Source renewable energy. It's got the MediHealth Germany um, address. There's a slight dent in the tin. Not really worried about that because they're not going to stay in here anyway. So I'll just do that. Pull them out. Oh, they are lovely, lovely pastel colours here. If we just zoom in and have a quick look at the, the tips there. Now there is a smell about them. I'm just going to have a... It's quite a pleasant smell actually. Well, I think so. Anyway, I'm just going to pull this one out here. Quite a pleasant smell. Uh, so they, let's pull one out and show you the pencil itself actually and just zoom in a bit. So they're pre-sharpened but not to a really sharp point. There's a flat tip on it. It's got um, a monarch stag on it, then the title monarch, and then we've got the colour. This one's Aztec gold followed by the pencil number which is 79, monarch 79, and then a uh, corresponding colour tip at the end which they started doing with the skin tones. Nice range of pinks. So it's candy and ice cream that could be used as uh, for skin tones, mango, some greens. Let's have a look at the next, let's zoom out and look at the next layer. So I will be swatching these later and popping them in my case that would just case it's actually downstairs at the moment and here we've got some more greens there's some greens on the top shelf as well more greens some more blues and there's another purple there a gray a nice brown at the end which is called rusty so 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 far quite impressed with the colors these blues are very nice so we've got a blue blue daisy here this is a lovely color again they're hexagonal and they feel very light very nice nicely balanced so I am left-handed, so I hold them like that. So again, flat tip on this one, as you can see, and I'll probably sharpen them, not for the swatching, but when we start colouring a picture with them. So we will do this as a first impressions. Um, as you know, I am a big fan of the Black Widows. They are one of my favourite pencil sets. Um, and I always recommend them to people who want to build up a collection of pencils and haven't got a huge amount of money because you can get, say, the first set and you've got enough colours to do some general colouring. Um, if you want to do skin tones, get as well, get the two skin tone sets because I tend to mix my skin tone sets and use the dark and the lights regardless of what colour skin tone I'm doing. Um, there's some good greys in here. I always love the, the, 
the titles that they give them like storm blue, grey slate, ocean, sky, emerald and so on. I always love the names uh, fawn, bliss, peppermint uh, and so on. So I'll get my swatch book out and we will start swatching them. Okay, so we're going to swatch out the colours. I'll read them out as I I swatch them. Um, I've already written out all the colour numbers and names, but I'll also read them out as we do them as well. Oops, excuse me, I just knocked the camera. Not bad like that. Okay, so the first colour that we're going to do is one thing, one fawn. So let's have a look. So as, as usual, they're very smooth. Very nice, good good build up, good layering. Just put a bit lighter in there so we can see how how it builds. But that's fawn, very nice colour. The first few are very skin tone esque to be honest, so that's good. Um, the next one is 71 cream. So these will complement the skin tone sets very nicely, I think. I always find a cream is a good base colour for, for skin. Again, nice and smooth. And then the next one is Milk, which is a 67. So again, these are very pale colours. Very nice, very nice for skin tones and highlights, as you can see. And then the next one is Peach. Again, another good colour for skin tones normally. This is 105. So let's just have a look at how. See, that is a lovely colour for skin, I think. Nice cream base, bit of peach on it for the thing, and then and so on. So I think there's a few in here that you could use for skin. The next one we've got is Aztec Gold, which is number 79079. Um, I have seen some other swatches of this, and I think they look lovely, these colours. So I'm really I'm dying to do these. I'm so glad to have that. It's such a beautiful yellow-orange gold colour. I mean look at it, look how deep it goes with a bit of layering and a bit of pressure. That is very, that is a lovely, lovely colour. The next one is a, a 090 and it's a mango. I haven't actually got my case up here, I forgot to bring it up so I'll bring it up tomorrow and put them in after. So again this is another sort of light orangey colour. And I'll be honest, mango is my favourite fruit. That's a nice, nice colour as well. So this will really complement the other sets. I know some people are mixing them and putting them into colour order. I kind of like leaving them in their sets, but that's just me. It's just the way I've swatched them as well. So the next one is 36 Candy. So again, this is a nice pink colour. As you can see, these colours are absolutely very nice. Oh yeah, look at that, it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning colours. Next one is ice cream. Lovely, that is another nice colour. Then we've got uh, 101 light pink. So these will complement like the, the tone, the skin tone, some of these pinks and peaches, which is which is nice. So again, they're very smooth, just like the originals. 
it doesn't take a lot to get some good colour on. I do like these, I really like, I really like the Black Widows, I've always said that since day one, so. Next one is 70 and it's Mesh Room. Let's go power. Oh, that is a nice colour. That is perfect. That is a stunning colour. I like that. That's a nice colour. Then that goes a pink and it's uh, 73 Bliss. Nice. It's a very nice pink. Oh yeah, I like that. So yeah. So far I'm very impressed with the colours. I'm looking forward to putting them in my pencil case, which like I've said, I have left downstairs. I forgot to bring it up, that's a nice one. Next colour is Fudge. A bit. Yeah, that's fine. Um, again, it's another pink. But it's a very nice colour. That's a nice colour. And the next one is hot pink. As long as I remember to put the, pick the right one up and put the right one back in the case. <laughs> I'm not doing very well today. Here we go. Hot pink. Oh, look at that colour. So we will start a picture as well. Once we've done this, I'll see how long this video is. And we'll either do one in a separate video. Or we'll just do one long video. It depends on how long it takes me to swatch them. There's only 48. It's not like there's 120 like there were when I did the the others. On to the greens now. And the next one is called Passion. It's a lovely green. It's almost like a lime. It actually looks like quite like they're lime fruits. It's a very similar shade. But it's always oh, gorgeous. Oh, I like that colour. And the next one is... Uh, 076 Cool Green. I'm just checking. I pick, actually picked up the right one and not put. That's a nice colour. The thing with greens is you can never have enough greens because so many books have so many plants in it. If you think like the Johanna Bassford books, or if you get books of fairies, they're usually in the woods. So there's always lots of um, greens needed. So it's good to have a lot more greens. The darker greens more and bright greens are in the first three sets. And then you've got these more muted ones. This one's Apple and it's 047. Oh, that is a gorgeous colour. It is very like an apple green as well. I think. Mmm, it's a nice colour. So there we are. That's the first uh, few done. Let's get the next one up. The next one's called Iceberg. And uh, it's MN060. It's a sort of bluey green. That's, that is gorgeous. That is beautiful. That is such a nice colour. Yeah, I do, I do like that colour, I'm not going to lie. These are beautiful colours, actually. And the next one is Peppermint, which is 112. Slightly off-centre on this one, the writing. I don't know if you can see it, but it doesn't matter. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to enjoy... Oh, look at that green. These are beautiful colours. Look at that. That is a very peppermint colour. <laughs> the next one's called Green Slime, M N O five O five two rather. Green Slime. <laughs> but again, it's a beautiful shade. So who knows what Black Widow are going to be doing next? I don't know. 
if we'll put any more shades out or whether they'll do watercolours. I did say I'd like watercolours in these types because I think the pencils are very good quality. Um, so this one's washed green, 108. Yeah, these, these are very impressive colours, I think. Um, yes, I, I do like them. I do like them very much. Next one is called Poison, and it is 84084. So let's have a look at the Poison. Here we go. Oh, look at those. These colours are absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah, I'm liking that. The next colour is 119 Antler. Yeah, look at that. These colours, I just don't know where they get these colours from, but they're amazing colours. Uh, this one is 88 Green Tea. Are we still on the page? We are still on the page, excellent. We haven't got our camera for you, is what I mean. Oh, wow. Fuck, these colours are amazing. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of the Widows as a budget set because you can just buy what ones you want without having to buy them all and you know that each set has got different colours so if, like, if you buy a 24 or 36 of prism colour and then you buy another set of either less or more you don't know what colours you're going to get but you know with the Black Widows it's always going to be something different in each set so this is 26 and it's light bronze That is a stunning, stunning colour. Lovely. That is the first tray. That is the first 24. So I'll just pop that out of my way and bring the next 24 over. And we'll carry on with MN120 Emerald. Oh yeah, look at that colour, that is gorgeous. I'm, I'm not putting much pressure on there and I'm getting some good colour out of, off of that um, pencil. That is amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous, that colour. Next one is a green sapphire colour. So it's called Sapphire and it's MN85. And a lot of people think it's a bit odd to have sapphire as green, but... Uh, I'm going with it. Oh, I love this colour. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'll be using this one a lot, I think, for leaves and things with lots of shading. Oh, that is a gorgeous green. I am very impressed with these, actually, so far. Very, very impressed. And the next one is Leaf Green, number 58. So let's have a look at this one. Let's just move that up a little bit. So this one's a Leaf Green, so this is a darker colour. More muted, nice. Yeah, they're very nice, these colours. There aren't any reds, so that's the only thing. There's not a single red in the set. Now, I'm a person who loves red. Red's my favourite colour, so... Bit of a shame there's no reds, but it is a more muted palette. Um, next one is Sky, um, MN037. So we're getting to the blues now, and that is absolutely stunning. Oh, my life, these colours are amazing. Look at how blue, beautiful colour that is there. That is stunning. So the next one is another blue, because we're in the blues now. This one's called Cat's Eye, and this is why people wondered if they've got the sapphire and the cat and cat's eye printed the wrong way. I don't think so. And um, this is one, two, four. But um 
Oh wow. I'm saying that for every every single pencil. I'm very impressed with the colours. The again the pencils are very soft and creamy. They lay down beautifully. There's no scratchiness whatsoever at all in these pencils. And I must say these are my go-to pencils more than my Prisma colours, and I love my Prisma colours, but they're so expensive to replace. Whereas these aren't, so I'm more likely to use these, and I can get a similar look that I want with these as I can with the Prismas. So it might take a little bit more work, but that's okay. So this is MN083 denim, so sort of a washed denim. Um, but yeah, it is quite a denim. You do obviously you get really washed, and you get the light blue wash, and then you get the dark denim. I never particularly liked dark denim, it just didn't look good on me, so I always preferred the, unless it was black, the light blue, which is very much like that colour. So that's a good name for that one. The next one is called Ocean, and it's 056. So we, yeah, we're getting through them quite quickly, because we've got smaller squares in this book. This is, book is just Black Widows, because you just don't know whether they're going to be putting any more out or not, so... If, if Albert turns around and says, no, that's it, that's all the colours, that's fine, then I'll use the book for other things as well. Um, but if, you know, they never know, they might come up with a, a metallics set or a watercolour set. There we go. So that is Ocean. That's a lovely blue too. Next one is Blue Daisy, 113. And again, these colours, they're just so, so creamy. The lay down is just amazing. I know some people have said that the, the colour palette is a bit too muted for them. They're not as impressed because of that. I personally think these colours are amazing and they perfectly complement the colours we already have in the set. Like I said, I would have liked reds because I am a very red person. I love the colour. But I'm very happy that there's a lot more greens and blues. I'm also very happy there's some more what I would call... Um, in the, in the skin tone range so everything from fawn to peach and then possibly even candy to mushroom for pale skin obviously not to darker skin but for the pale skin the caucasian skin so I'm, I'm quite happy with with that so the next one is opal mn097 yeah still very smooth no scratchiness at all Good colour lay down, nice pigmentation, uh, all, all superlatives. I love these pencils. I'm going to enjoy these pencils and um, I will keep buying them as I need to. So that's that one, that's beautiful. Now we're coming on to something called Grey Slate, which has a sort of like purpley tone to it. It's 103, so let's see. Uh, it is a grey purpley colour. That's nice. I'm not a big one for greys, but that's quite a nice colour. It's got a little hint of like a lilac in it, but a little bit of um, purpley colour. That's, that's nice. Yeah, it does look like slate actually, looking at it. The next one is Lavender, which is 039. I'm just checking. I've got the right one. Look at that colour. That is awesome. Similar, I think, to Amethyst, but I'd need to go and look. But not the same. So that's good for gradienting. For gradients of colour. Oh, that is, oh, that is so nice. And the next one's called Eggplant, and the number is 116. Yeah, good. So we're on the last column now, so it won't be long. Again, still no scratchy. I thought this was going to be a bit scratchier because it's so dark, but it's, it's not. It's just really nice colour. This is a gorgeous, this colour I'm, oh, I am in love with. These colours are amazing. I, I, anybody who says they're not needs to be shot. <laughs> not literally, though. No. Because I think they're beautiful. I know a lot of people are very, very excited to get them. So this one is MN123 Navy Blue. So let's have a look at how navy this blue is. Yep. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. And I'm not putting... I mean, I know I hold the pen quite low because I'm left-handed, but I'm putting on very light pressure at the moment. I'm just going over it. Mm. 
can go and I'm just going to put some heavier pressure down to get a, a good dark tone. Yes, that is nice. That is a lovely blue, lovely dark blue. And the next one is called Blue Moon and it is 042. So you've got light blues and dark blues, which is great. Oh gosh, these blues are killing me. They are so beautiful. I'm getting pins and needles sitting on the floor doing this, but oh my god, I'm loving these colours. The next one is called Storm Blue. And it is number 64. Just making sure that you can still see what I'm doing. I don't want to go out of camera view. That is a stunning colour. The blues on in this set are absolutely gorgeous. Mind you, so are the so are the greens and the pinks. I can't fault them. I cannot fault these colours, they're beautiful. Look at that blue. Sorry, just not to draw. Um, the next one, this one, is called Oyster, and it's 114. Oh, that's nice. Nice pale colour. I like that. Yeah, these are really nice. Next one is Gunmetal, so it's a grey, and I'm trying to put the grey back in and keep the oyster out, that's just me, uh, which is uh, 092. Near the end now, there's not much done, not much left. So I think I will do this in two parts, then it's not too long, and, you can, and I'll show you what picture we're going to colour. I already know, I've already picked one out. I wasn't sure whether or not I'd be using it because I wasn't sure how the skin tones would fare but having seen what's in here I'm very happy. The next one is called Dark Grey and it's 109. Now to me that is not a dark grey. It's a nice grey but it's not dark. Even when I give it a bit of pressure it's a, nice, it's a lovely colour grey actually. I'm appreciating my greys more now. The next one is light grey, which is uh, 48. That is very light. You can hardly see anything at all on there. Just push it down so we can actually see the colour. Now I am putting pressure on to try and get it to take some colour. It's very light, that one. You can just about see it. The next one's called Shadow, and it's 125. Nice grey. Like I said, I'm not big on the greys, but the, the other sets only had one or two. I think there's maybe three greys. So to have some more greys is a good thing, really. So I do use them. Look at that. That's a nice grey. Now, the next one is medium grey, 72. But to me, it looks darker than dark grey. So I don't know. Let's have a look. So we got, Well, yeah, there's dark grey up there. And this is medium grey. So to me this is darker than dark grey. So I'm not sure if I the naming on these but perhaps it should be the other way around. But hey it doesn't matter it is a grey and I, will, I don't really look at the names when I'm doing it. i got to be honest. I look at the colour swatch for what I'm looking for and I go right it's that one. And then I look for the name and number but I don't think oh I'm looking for a medium grey hang on. That's, all, that's medium grey. I think I'm looking for a grey. Which one do I want? And then I pick it. So the next one's called Coal and it's 110. So only a couple more to go. But this video is about 30 minutes long, so we will. So this is sort of a very dark grey or matte, very light black. And it does kind of look like the colour of coal when I blend it in like that there yeah that's a quite a nice color i like that yeah that's a good one i am very impressed with the colors choices 
next one is mahogany and it's 087 so we've got two more to go oh that is a gorgeous brown look at that that's almost like a very toasty dark toasty color i like that what's a golden brown isn't it yeah that's a nice color that's what i'm trying to say golden brown and the last one is Rusty. Now there is one called Rusty in one of the other sets. So they've actually put a Y on the end called it Rusty. And it's one, two, two. So let's see how rusty coloured this is. Ooh. So this is the nearest thing we've got to a red. And it is fairly red to be honest. Oh, my battery's going. Right. Yeah, that is a nice browny red colour. It looks kind of like rust. Yes, that's a beautiful colour. So those are the colours of the 48 um, Monarch tones. And I'm just going to find the book we're going to be colouring in with them. So as always, we're going to be colouring in a colouring heaven special. This is the Fairies and Friends special, issue 38. It's quite an old one. I haven't coloured in yet because obviously we like to keep the paper the same so we will be colouring in this is by Meredith Dillman we will be colouring in this one which is the Oak Fairy but I will do it in a different um, video so this will be a two-parter because I don't want it being so long the long videos are hard and I, I never watch really long videos I must admit I turn I watch a bit of it and turn it off and then forget to go back to it so we'll do this in a separate one I hope you've enjoyed the swatching of these uh, new tones and colours from Black Widow first impression do I recommend them absolutely Black Widow's are a very good quality pencil with beautiful colours great lay down very creamy so I'll leave a link to the US and UK Amazon sites down below if you want to purchase them. And uh, let me know what you think of this video so far and what you think of these um, pencils. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.